Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick comparison here between the uh, Xiaomi uh, 4X phone, which is a very affordable handset uh, recently released, and the iPhone 7, uh, which is about the same kind of size actually here, and does actually look quite similar uh, in terms of the build quality. As you can see, uh, both of them build uh, very strong, uh, which is particularly impressive given the more affordable price of the Xiaomi phone. So we're just going to check this out. I think it's actually called the uh, Redmi 4X. So we can see how you compare here and we have updated the iPhone to iOS 11 uh, beta 2 so that uh, is the latest software here can't get used to that control center it looks pretty weird to me uh, I don't think we get the latest software with the 4X which is a bit annoying you know you would like to see that uh, because it's a new phone but I think it's because of the very uh, cheap kind of price here uh, so you can see we have installed a few apps on both of them and I just wanted to uh, basically check out the performance I think we've closed everything down as well this is a 3 gig RAM model as well so it's a little bit more expensive than the 2 gig RAM but I think uh, it's definitely worth it uh, so that uh, was going to the iPhone a little bit uh, what about weather so we got an annoying pop up then but it was still quite slow here. I think it's got uh, Snapdragon 435, which is uh, quite unheard of processor. Uh, not the not the best, obviously. But you can see it pushes around the Android decent enough. Just get a lot of these pop-ups, which are a bit annoying. And what else do we have? We have some third party stuff. So the screen isn't half bad actually. You know, I was expecting there to be a little bit of a kind of a poor screen here, but uh, it's very comparable to the iPhone screen. Like, I think it's using the same technology, uh, which is pretty nice. Probably calibrated a little bit different. The yellows look a bit weird there. Uh, Facebook. So you can see some of these are actually opening up a bit faster on the left, uh, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, so it's not done half bad here, you know. I'm really impressed uh, actually uh, when it comes to the third party apps. I bet the games will be different. So a little bit snappier here on the right. Be interesting to see how the multitasking is. So you can see it's being left behind a little bit now in terms of these uh, games here. Didn't register my Twitch then. So I think kind of the big difference here is the fingerprint sensor. Uh, you do get one on the back with the Mi, the Redmi 4X. It's not called the Mi 4X. It's the Redmi. I think there's also a 4A, which is a even lower end version. Probably wouldn't bother with that one. So I think it's only the games here which I noticed a big difference in terms of the loading speed. Uh, you know, imagine technologies were very good at making graphics, but now they have been fired, unfortunately. So, uh, well, they did do pretty well with the iPhone. So, let's just move on to the speed then of the Wi Fi. And uh, you can see we're on the same, same one. So I think you only get 2G like uh, band support, which is annoying. Would be nice if they did put uh, like a dual band Wi-Fi in there.
and then you can see that iPhone nearly completely failed miserably then if it uh, didn't reach the 4x that would have been funny not the best score here uh, but you can see it's comfortably ahead because of that 5G support which is nice and uh, let's just open up a few web pages so where do we want to go we want to go to uh, BBC you can see it uh, seems to have a good uh, load speed do we have a comparable link here there we go so you can see it is uh, pretty good at loading the page uh, probably not quite as fast as the the iPhone here which you know well that is weird so let's just try this link yeah you can see uh, slightly slow for the Snapdragon 400 series processor I'm not sure why they keep doing these uh, processors they just should do 600 uh, let's just now go to some multitasking can it keep up with the iPhone with just 2 gigs of RAM you can see a reload there let's try oh this is hard on two small phones let's try again here go straight into it yes kept it in memory very nice Let's try another game. And again. So it wasn't quite as snappy as the iPhone go back into it, but it seems to be doing better here than the Mi Max 2. Heroes. Again. Wow, this is a beast of multitasking. I've got to say. Very impressive. One more. Can it make it uh, quadruple? Wow. Uh, so very nice little tasking here with the 4X. I'm not sure how the 2D RAM model might fare. It probably won't be quite as good. Uh, so uh, overall you can see here very impressive stuff. I think the lack of uh, 5G Wi-Fi does hurt it a little bit. But you know, generally, given the price of like 100 euro, you're not going to be complaining too much here. And you do obviously get uh, quite a nice camera as well uh, set up, so it has you know autofocus shots it takes are very presentable. You know, not nothing too special, but uh, it'll do the job. And I think it supports fast charging and has a uh, 3000 mAh battery. So I think this is going to go on forever in terms of the you know longevity. longevity. Uh, so. Uh, it does just have one speaker though, which is uh, a little bit annoying compared to the stereo setup on the iPhone, uh, as well as the uh, Force Touch, obviously, which you do get on the iPhone, which is nice, uh, and iOS 11. Uh, so, quite interesting, nevertheless. I think I'm going to do some more videos with the uh, 4X, so do stay tuned for that. Hope you found this one helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.